I'm going to show you an app called Champify and this app is something I put together a couple of years ago and uh, since sort of version one of it uh, I've updated it a couple of times based on some feedback from customers and you know just wanted to make it a little bit fresher <clears throat> the idea of this app is that it's, it's an academy it's an academy app to help you build up uh, you know, a community of digital champions you might have uh, already a community of people that are already very passionate and like to help others out you might be using things uh, you know services such as Yammer um, to, to manage these communities um, one, one of the one of the reasons for building this app is it kind of helps it helps people learn you know the basics uh, all the way up to advanced um, advanced topics in in pretty any one of these technologies that you can see on the screen <clears throat> and the purpose of it is really to to provide some kind of internal certification for people who want to become champions so as you launch the app this is embedded in teams um, you can see we've got several technologies so i'm going to click on select power apps and you can see inside there are some courses that i that i can go through and you know as i as i complete them um you know it sort of increases my capabilities you can see a, a level there for beginner intermediate and advanced and, and this icon here indicates that this is a champ course now if i if i already have skills in power apps then i can go into this course uh, complete it and then i'm immediately uh, classed or I'm immediately certified as a digital champion um obviously this should be updated <laughs> but um yeah so so the idea is that you can go in to a course and you can go through the the content and when you're finished um you know you you can proceed on to other courses now you can see these these videos are uh, have been completed uh, i've watched them because there's a little green indicator there so I've, I've completed this course already um so what's the value here now all of this content uh is is curated so the the platform itself or the app is put together in such a way that you can tailor this not just for much of technologies but for, for anything essentially um, <clears throat> you know with a little bit of a, of an update you could you could make this about project management it's it really up to you how you go about uh, changing the app but essentially it's run with um, data from YouTube so let's think about uh, how we can deploy it there's the solution that you would have downloaded is called the Champify solution and it can it comes with quite a lot of information well there's quite a lot of, 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 of content here there are two flows that are of use for deployment one is to import course data into Champify so as you once you've imported this solution into your environment you'll see there are some tables here uh, we have um, courses the, the content of a course uh, the, the, the progress that students are making within a course um, so it's so by that I mean you know every time uh, a, a student completes a video uh, we track that that's been that's you know that's been watched. Uh, so let's walk through importing it. You can see this is done using Power Automate Flow, and essentially what it takes is table data from an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the spreadsheet here, I'll walk you through the spreadsheet quickly. Um, it's pretty simple, it has two tables, one for course and one for course content. So here we have a course title, a code, the description of the course, the level of the course and the technology that it relates to. You, again, you can label this however, uh, however you want to. And then we have the content. So here we have the course code again, so I'm ensure that uh, in this example, Beginner's Guide to Power Apps, course code PA01. So we make sure we put PA01 for the course code, uh, a title of the video that they'll be watching, the duration in minutes, a link to the YouTube video, and then the thumbnail code, which is essentially just uh, these, this last section of the URL. <coughs> so if you were to do that, then that would be fine. So 
the recommendation is from me, uh, you know, go through some content on YouTube and populate it. Now, when I've done this with customers, it's generally taken, you know, maybe a day, maybe a day and a half of going through and selecting really well um, put together content. Usually that's uh, you know content published by MVPs or by Microsoft themselves, uh, maybe the product group or maybe sessions from Ignite or the, the Business Application Summit. <clears throat> so essentially you go through and you, you populate this, this spreadsheet. And when you're ready to, once you've imported the, uh, the solution into your environment, you, you simply run this flow. Now, the, the two things you need to update is the location, the document library of the, um, you know, of this spreadsheet. That's basically all you're going to need to do. And then essentially what it does for each one is it just creates a, uh, you know, a new record. If at any point you want to flatten the, the deployment, there's a flow here that will reset the entity data. So what that will do is loop through the, the tables in, in, the, in Dataverse and delete all of the content. So at any point in time, you just want to completely reset it, <coughs> maybe update the, the course content, uh, then you, you can run on this flow. So that's essentially it. The app itself is, a, you know, it's a Canvas app. Uh, if we take a look at the app, where is that? It's the Canvas app. Take a look at this so you can see how it's been put together. There are basically three screens of use. Um, I think I cleaned up there. I did have a testing screen in there as well, but I think I've got a feeling that I cleaned that up while we're waiting for that. We'll just continue. Um, but essentially, as, as uh, the champions complete their courses, and when they complete their champions course, they have a pop-up. And this pop-up says to them, um, well done, you're now a digital champion. What kind of support are you prepared to offer? And there, there are three options. One is uh, they're happy to provide support through email. Two, that they're happy to provide actual hands-on assistance. Um, and three, that they would prefer not to offer help, but they're just happy to be a digital champion. And maybe at some point in the future, they will, they will uh, get more involved. Now, those uh, that information is stored in a table in uh, called Champs. So you can see we've got this table here called Champs. That's where that information is stored. <clears throat> and that becomes useful for the second part of the solution, which is a Power Virtual Agent. Now the Power Virtual Agent itself um, is, let's run through that, is useful for uh, for this. So essentially, when, when you've, once you've deployed it, um, this is the, the, the center of excellence, the COE bot. Um, that will make sense if you see some of the, I'll put links to the other videos where this actually, uh, you know, makes a little bit more sense for you. <laughs> um, but essentially the, the Champify um, element of this is, is designed to help your uh, community or um, find the right kind of help for them. So what it will do is, um, as the user interacts with the bot, they'll they'll trigger the greeting message, hi, hello, whatever, um, and this will then, um, you know, offer them help from digital champions, which is what we're going to walk through now. Uh, and the, the only thing they really need to answer at this point in time is what kind of help are they are, are they looking for? Uh, general advice over email, hands-on assistance, developing an app. And if you remember. Uh, a few minutes ago, I mentioned that when a champion completes a course, those are the, the two of the options that, that they're, they're offered with. So we can say here, we're looking for general advice. Now, what will happen in the background is a flow will run, and I'll walk you through that in a moment, but this flow is going to loop through that list of digital champions. And what it's gonna try and do is find the champion that's closest to you. Um, it will check your department, it will then, if it finds a, a champion, it will introduce you to, to somebody in your, your department. Uh, then it will look for your, for your office location, it will look for your city and finally your country. And as soon as it finds a match, um, it will introduce you. So it will say here, 
Okay, good news, Steve. I found a, a champ. Miriam is available to help him. Would you like me to send an introductory email? So I can say, yes, please, because I might not know Miriam. <clears throat> and here I can just say, I need some assistance. With what? Uh, I can say, I am having problems updating records in SharePoint. So what will happen at this point is an email will be sent um, to Miriam introducing me to her saying Steve is looking for some assistance and this is a, a, a rough description of what he's uh, what he's looking for. So in terms of the flow we hope it's all clear so we have this flow called get champ and this is the, the one that's just triggered and essentially uh, you know, it runs through the um, so it gets the, the profile of the, the user requesting help, which was which was me, uh, and then it will loop through um, all of the the champs looking for uh, the the department, the city. So here, this matched on my city. Uh, and then country. Oh, okay, so it's not not obvious. I, I was incorrect in my, my previous statement. Um, so yeah, so that's what it does. It's useful in terms of ensuring that your the people that are volunteering for to be digital champions have got the tools to you know to to ensure that they've got the right level of skill. Um, it provides you with a with a repository of of champions and the level of advice and help that they're they're willing to support. They're willing to offer. Um, through the bot, you can uh, actually, you know, your end users who are having the problems can can find a digital champion that's closest to them, and it will even send them an introductory email, and it would work exactly the same on you know either selection here. It wouldn't matter if you're asking for hands-on um, help or just general advice. You know, an introductory email is usually more than enough. Um, okay, that's everything. Thank you very much.